Welcome back. So let's create another route, and this route is just going to for now contain um, the actual courses. So just a list of courses. That's going to be kind of the course management route that we're going to build now and start working with. So I'm going back to my code here. I'm going to say git, uh, sorry, ng for generating a new component. And this time I actually want to go into the source app uh, courses before I do this. And then I'll do a new ng generate component and I'll call this course manager, something like that. And just it's just a route name. And notice now the new guy is here, the course manager is right here. And let's just create a route for that guy right away. So here's the actual selector name, course manager. But notice I don't have to do anything with this. I can just go into my app module now and actually go in and create a new route here. So I'll just do comma here and say if I go into slash courses like this, then I want to go to the course manager component like this. And that should be all it takes. So let's see if this actually works. Let's try and go back into our um, into our component here. It seems we get an error. Let's figure that one out. And console. You'll get errors now and then. That's a good thing. That means that you're writing some code. So let's try and see what it actually complains about here. Slash courses path cannot start. Oh, of course. I, you shouldn't put in the path, the slash in front of it. Sorry about that. Now it's actually there and I do slash courses here like this and then I should actually go into course manager. So now I just added a new route and that's just how simple that is. Let's go back to the home to see all of them, okay? So now we've created our course manager route. Next lesson, let's try and actually work more with that. So see you in the next lesson.